What's going on guys, JP back at you once again bringing you guys day number 6 in my 11th annual 31 Days of Horror, a series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days all during the month of October. And uh, yeah, so today's film is a little bit older of a film, never seen it before, but I've heard good things about the series. And that is 1955's The Quatermass experiment uh, also known as the creeping unknown uh, yeah so this is a sort of sci-fi horror film from uh, 1955 it's uh, British um, black and white um, I want to say that it might have been a hammer film I believe um, doesn't say it on here but I want to say that I'm pretty sure it was a hammer film um, but yes, yeah, so the the Quater Mass experiment um, is a pretty interesting movie. So it it follows a a, a, a town in which um, a rocket ship crash lands to Earth. Um, it turns out that these were astronauts in, I believe, the like first manned mission to space, um, and they have come back. Uh, when they investigate the spaceship, uh, there were three men during the orbit, and there's only one guy now, and he seems, like, very disoriented, and I think he just tells them, he says, like, help me or something, and then, uh, <laughs> and then he's, like, almost, like, in a comatose state after that, uh, and the other, um... Uh, astronauts in there are their suits are there but they're not there uh so you know they're like what the heck at first they think that this guy m must have like killed the other two and threw them out into space uh but then as time goes on they do a little bit more research there was a camera that was uh on board they watch the footage back they uh, essentially find out that um the culprit was some sort of alien Fung fungus that uh, killed the other two astronauts and then infected the third. Um, meanwhile, the third astronaut, the one who survived, his wife um, breaks him out of a hospital, um, you know, because she's like worried that, you know, they're treating him badly or, you know, whatever. And um, uh, eventually, you know, the the thing starts uh, growing inside him and, um, you know, taking over uh, and eventually sort of, well, I'll just leave it at that. But, um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a pretty interesting movie. Um, early sci-fi stuff, uh, I really enjoyed it, you know. Um, there's a lot of, like, you know, the setup I thought was really cool. These, these astronauts returning from space and you know what's going on and it's a, a little bit of a mystery early on and you, you are kind of wondering like what the heck is going on and they actually the footage they show from the spaceship where um all, all the you know people are watching what's going on uh and like the, there's like this flashing light and then like i thought it was like it, it was very basic but it was like very effective for the time like, it was kind of creepy, you know? And uh, then there was, like... I would say that probably by the end of the movie, I think that, like, the stuff at the beginning was more interesting, and then when it turns out... What it what it all turns out to be and stuff is a little less interesting. I guess just because I've seen it so many times now, but in 1955, maybe it wasn't as, um, you know, done. But, yeah, I, I think that it was... Uh, you know, very entertaining movie. I, I'm I'm curious about the uh, two sequels there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and give this one a... I don't know, 7. Solid 7 out of 10 for uh, the Quatermass experiment. I keep wanting to say experience. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, tagline, it creeps, it crawls, it kills. Alright, so anyway guys, uh, that'll be it for today, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Peace.